so it's day six and I think I'm officially unable to count on my fingers. I think I have to do big girl math. But yesterday was actually um, really good. I'm a little bit late on making this video, um, but I just had a really busy day last night and I didn't get home until like almost one in the morning. Um, so it it was a really, really good day. It was, it was like exactly what I needed. And um, I'm really glad that I've been doing this series because it helped me stay in a place where I was able to keep trying to f focus and work on my growth even through some really painful um, times. Um, I had a, a really nice therapy session with my with my counselor yesterday and um, I just I spent a lot of time talking about just like you know how I've never had how I've never gotten to experience a lot of things that um that other women have and you know um I think one is one big thing for me is like you know you really have to make time to to let yourself have experiences that make you you feel like you're fulfilling your obligations not your obligations but yeah your obligations to yourself with the things that you need and that that you feel like you deserve to to live a healthy life and to be the most authentic version of yourself and you know i think i really think that like you know i've spent so much of my life just trying to to fix other people's problems and and honestly I since I transitioned I think I've I've spent like maybe three months total not dating someone which is I mean I've been transitioning for almost four years now so that's like not a very good ratio in my opinion you know like I, I really feel like you know especially you know because I really feel like I didn't start growing until I started transitioning, so, you know, I, I really feel that I, I start, like, I've only been me for, like, four years, and all of that time I've been spending trying to figure out other people, and I really haven't taken the time to, like, dive down deep into, like, who I am or like what I want or what I need or like how I take care of myself really you know like I when I was talking to my therapist yesterday they, they really recommended me doing things like more little activities and you know watching like children's movies and you know like buying that dollhouse or like you know play with it kind of thing and I, I really feel like just having those experiences and ha like having permission from myself to let myself have those experiences and you know to not let my anxiety of like what if I'm not good enough like completely throw me off off the rails you know I, I really think that you know it's been such a, a positive and and affirming part of my journey you know I really just I, I think that the more I can let people know how much that, that, you know, this age regression stuff, it's to help you experience the things that you never got to experience when you were a child. It's not to like, you know, pretend like you're a little kid. It's not to avoid responsibilities. I mean, there, there is, you know, that play space in there where you like, you know, part of being a little kid is having a place where you don't have to be responsible and creating that atmosphere for you. But like the goal is to eventually, you know, to grow through that and to to be the person that you want to grow into, you know, but it's it's really like taking a step back and, you know, being like, OK, so I didn't have the childhood that I wanted to and I, I did not grow into the person that I wanted to so let's let's do it again and this time I'm going to choose the lessons that I want to learn and you know I'm going to choose the person that I want to be and I just think that's that's really cool you know like 
everything is just a constant process of like just discovering who you are and learning how to be more authentic with it towards the world and how to express that in like deeper and deeper ways and um I'm really grateful um <clears throat> I had a couple of experiences yesterday where you know I, I got to give my my mom a massage for the first time in my entire life and well since I was like you know six and it it was just really like it was one of the most bonding experiences that we had and just like like her seeing my work and like oh this is what you do oh you actually are really good at it and you know this is like a really positive experience for me like I I feel like she believes in me and what I'm doing more and just having that support has been like really like the bee's knees it's it's been you know cat's pajamas like I'm I'm really just so grateful to have that relationship with my mom um that I never really got to have you know like I had it with her when I was really young growing up and then you know around like the puberty times everything just you know they did not know how to to raise a kid like me and um you know I kind of figure out how to raise me so I'm doing it and um I'm glad y'all are joining me to to share this experience because it's been um it's been an interesting one and uh I I really wish that I had been able to hear some of these things when when I was younger and really needing it so I'm um I'm just really glad that anyone out there is listening to this and and enjoying it and you know it's making some sort of positive impact on their life you know that's that's really cool to me um you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna end this off with some positive affirmations um i think you know even though yesterday was a high note i still definitely want to keep this going and you know i think building this momentum is you know keeping like building and keeping this momentum are are just as important you know so i am love i am lovable i am light i am deserving of kindness i am peaceful i am confident i am strong i am a good friend i am a good person i am so so much of a gift to the people in my life i i help heal the people around me i bring love and joy into the hearts of the people that i interact with i am respectable i am worth putting energy into That one really, really slapped. I deserve putting energy into myself. That one really, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm hitting something here. But, um, I deserve to take the time for myself. I deserve to, to set intentions for myself. I deserve to steer this boat in the direction that I want to go. I deserve to be happy in my body. I deserve to be happy inside my home. And I deserve love. So thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Much love once again, as always.